Hello everybody, Gollum Lady here bringing you some of Diaspora. Uh, this is, as you can see here, a Battlestar Galactica game. <laughs> I know this is somewhat hard to believe, but it is true. This is a proper Battlestar Galactica game. And I must say, I am so excited for it. One of my friends is telling me about this game and I'm so happy to see it actually be made into a proper space combat game. So... That's what we're going to be playing here today. It is quite a bit of a throwback because the because Free Space 2 was an er, was a late 90s game that was released uh, and then re-released a second time back in 2001. And the fact that it's actually is that I'm actually playing this now is so fucking awesome. Let's not waste any time. Now, for those of you that that might uh, that might be kind of curious in terms of what this game is, yes, this is Battlestar Galactica. And those of you that have followed Free Space for the longest time may actually know about a standalone mod for it known as Beyond the Red Line. From what I can tell, this is somewhat of a revisit and rehash of it. Well, not so much a rehash. Welcome, pilots. We've been selected to participate in the Command Network Program Trial Runs. According to the brass, this is a new operating system that will be used in the central computers of our birds and tied to the navigation and comm systems of all our cap ships and stations. The CMP provides what they call a unified command and control framework and is supposed to help increase efficiency throughout the fleet. Of course, we've all heard the rumors. The CMP is supposed to turn a rook or nugget into an ace. We've been given the honor of putting that to the test over the next few weeks. You have been selected because you represent our top pilots. I'll address the rooks later. Your feedback on the auto-assist systems developed for the CMP will be critical in how it will be deployed in the fleet. For those of you volunteering for these tests, you'll be getting double pay. But I know that Shirley von Vergon is at the front of most of your minds before we ship out. I know some of you, like, uh, Obit, owe a few too many cubits on Palace. So I suggest you take this opportunity to move your finances out of the red and into the black. Those who have decided to take part in these tests meet in the briefing room in 10 minutes. That is all. Well, okay then. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely our. This is definitely pretty damn good. Ooh, what's this? Battlestar Theseus. Battlestar Theseus oh. is taking part in the Command Network Program test trials. You are to follow instructions and familiarize yourself with the CNP interface for your Mark Seven Viper. We will be monitoring your performance with the CNP, engaging it against your standard combat performance. Your reaction time in standard maneuvers and targeting protocols will provide key data the brass needs in order to decide whether or not to implement the CNP. Don't flub this, we need honest assessments. But if you get bright ideas and start throwing off your performance because you don't want to see the CNP used, just remember, you're going to end up as a little outlier that the eggheads will ignore. Keep in mind, pilots, the brass is likely going to implement the CNP regardless of our recommendations. So. Use this as an opportunity to familiarize yourself with how our birds are going to be flying from now on. Uh, sure. Um, what the hell's going on? Yeah, oh. I don't get to do anything? Well, okay then. Apparently this is the tutorial here. They're just sort of dropping me in. That works. <laughs> Let's do it. 
107 days before the fall. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, goodbye! <laughs> Holy crap! Welcome, pilot. Lieutenant Manhart here. You know me as Callsign Shadow. I'll be serving as your instructor for the duration of these... Alright, pilots. This is the part of the exercises you've all been waiting for. We've noticed that some of the comments by the text behind the CNP have gotten on your nerves. I believe the one about a Nugget and a CNP-equipped Viper being better than any of Theseus' pilots was the worst. I've suggested that we put this to the test in the next round of simulations. We're going to put several nuggets through a series of tests, and we'll then play the exact same tests for you in a non-CMP Viper. We're counting on you as a skilled pilot to defend Theseus' honor here. Today's trials will compare your performance in a non-CMP Viper to our nuggets in CMP-enabled ones. Tests will range from assessing basic skills like targeting and gaining a missile lock, to a full-scale combat trial against multiple opponents. We will then have you against one of the Nuggets in a dogfight to decide if the text claims really are true. Show us your best performance out there. Dismissed. Okay, this has me kind of interested. I'm curious to see what this is going to be like. Because supposedly the CNP stuff... I don't know what the fuck it is. As far as I can tell, it has to do with computer-assisted maneuvers, but... At that same time, I'm curious to see what this is going to be like. Wow, okay, so those... Goodbye! <laughs> Alright. For the next test, you will have to attempt to destroy the drones. Once the drone is destroyed, it will be removed from combat. Begin by neutralizing drone one. Test begins in five, four, three, two, one. Simulated hull damage, okay then. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh man, that was cool. Okay, this does feel like proper BSG. There we go. <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> For your final exercise, we will pit you against the nugget with a CNP enabled viper. Set your distance to over 3,000 meters away from Blue One and await permission to engage. Alright, so let's get a distance away from him. It'll be three kilometers away. Yeah, I will say now, I am very much liking this. Eh, we'll see about that. Nope. Looks like the CNP doesn't turn a nugget into an ace after all. No, it does not. Sir, we all knew we could beat the nugget. I think the real test of the CNP would be to put him up against the next highest scoring pilot in a CNP Viper and see if we can beat him. Each is actual to red lead. This is the CAG. Obit is already in lunch prep for the next round of training. We'll have you two dogfight, then I want you back here for debrief. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually pretty good. That. Okay, sir, I'm moving into position. Let's do this like you did with the nugget and get three clicks between us. Oh, wait. Oh, there. Oh, that's. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, okay. So they're. So they're fitting their highest scoring pilot against me. Awesome.
Okay, this is definitely interesting. I'm sorry if I'm being quiet so much on this, but I may cut out some of the tutorial here, aside from maybe this part. Sir, let's see if the CNB actually gives me the edge. Alright, hey, let's do this. Is it just one? Yeah, it's just one. Alrighty. Okay, that was a lot more intense than I had originally thought. Central, okay, so underside, starboard. Port is left, so starboard is right side then. To make a combat landing, approach any of the Theseus' landing pods, and once you are inside, gently attempt to bring yourself into contact with the runway surface. That's gently. During a combat landing situation, the landing officer will often call out a preferred landing bay. Remember that this is an advisory, and the final decision lies with the pilot to choose which landing bay will provide them with the least dangerous landing. Huh. That is actually surprisingly cool. Okay, that is very damn cool. <laughs> Looks like you managed to conclusively prove that the CNP is not a replacement for the experienced pilot. CNP techs will have to quit their bragging now. Given Obit's scores and CNP Vipers, beating him was very impressive. When you're off duty, first round's on me. Unfortunately, we won't be getting much more time to play with the CNP anyway. So what are the recommendations now? Orders have just come in for a three-month patrol along the Armistice Line. We'll probably be the last ship in the entire fleet to get the CNP upgrade at this rate. You'll have a few days to get your things in order before we ship out. I suggest you take the next shell to PyCon. Dismissed. Okay, so let's see here. Target drones, 25, okay then. 14, okay, so... Okay, um, yeah, and obviously I didn't really pay attention to some of that. Um, let's see here. Hit each drone with a missile. Yeah, that was actually pretty quick. Um, so I destroyed the the bombs. Use quote, use a little bit of ammo. Uh, time in combat with drone, about 10 seconds. I was still able to destroy them really freaking easily. And then drone 2 and 3... That I felt was even shorter, but I'm, but that just might be me. Combat with Blue One was 20 seconds, so I took him out really easily. And then Green One, that guy ended up doing me pretty damn bad damage, but thankfully no penalty points. Yay! Okay, so this looks like a proper cutscene that is completely original. I was going to say, if this is a, from the TV show itself, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut this out, but at that same time, I wasn't certain.
Alright, so what's going on here? We're supposed to be on, like, what, a six-month tour now? Because the tutorial took place prior to the fall, which the fall is in reference to the, uh, to the twelve colonies of, uh, to the twelve colonies itself. I forget, I forget what the, what they're called. Twelve colonies of Cobol? I don't remember what the hell they're called. There's a Theseus. Oh, come on, why did... Oh, no, don't tell me. There's something going on. Oh, okay, well then... That happens. Let's do this. Oh dear God! Oh my God! We're reading inbound warheads. Three wings of Cylon Raiders intercept and destroy. What the fuck? Affirmative, Theseus. Break to engage. Oh my God! Ow! Ow! Okay. Stay within the recovery line, or he may be forced to jump without you. Any? No, no more bombs. Oh, more bombs. Uh oh. Okay, time to get out of the flak fields. Okay. This is actually pretty intense. My friend wasn't kidding when he said that, the, that this is actually pretty faithful to the TV shows in terms of the action. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so ecstatic right now. We've all dreamed for this, but remember to keep your focus. We've lost too many good people today already. The spaceships are firing nuclear missiles. We need to focus on intercepting those warheads before they hit the Theseus. Ow. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, okay, so then Oh, hello. Okay, there's so much going on here, I don't know what's going on. Wait, what? Wow, okay. There's so many raiders. Oh my god. I just had to remind you who's the best pilot in the fleet. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, they do kind of break apart. Damn, man. Wait, oh shit, bombs. Forgot about those. Now thus far, I don't think the, the Theseus has even been hit once. It's actually pretty good. It's nuclear, damn it. Looks like you've been watching my flying. Good. Who the hell are you? Cylon Heavy Torpedo. Come on. Jeez Louise, man. So many torpedoes. Why are they launching so many torpedoes? FTL is at fifty percent. Jeez Louise, man, this is just like the TV shows. I know we keep saying that, but God, this is so cool. Oh my God, that flak! More bandits incoming. 
Okay, that is so much flak. Is the Theseus just fly just firing shotgun shells? I got me flak shotgun shells. That is such a thing. Oh wow, okay. I'm actually running low on ammo now. I just now noticed that I looked out of my ammo counter. <laughs> Go. That's how you do it. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> okay, I need to get ammo. Like, now. Does it matter? Well, no, actually, I, th I think I can get by for now. These bombs aren't even getting through. I'm not even certain that they're too much of a threat right now. Jeez Louise. That's how you do it. We should have received our distress signal. We've been unable to establish contact with any fleet assets. We do not know the extent of the attack at this time. And I love the sound effects in this game too, because I, I was told that this is like, like faithful to even that too. And they and my friend wasn't kidding about that. I was actually tipped off about this from uh, from a close friend of mine. ETA one minute, stand by for combat landing procedures. Shit, where is there's a Theseus? Oh shit, she's on the move. Reading a third star on station. Bearing two two zero. Kara five zero. We're being overwhelmed. Incoming ordnance. All hands, brace for impact. Oh shit. STL systems are online. All fighters, prepare for combat landing. Commencing jump in 90 seconds. All fighters, return to the Theseus immediately. Nuclear warheads inbound. You heard the lieutenant. Return to the Theseus ASAP or you will be left behind. A fourth Cylon base target. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful landing. Okay, yeah, the combat landings of this are pretty damn cool. I like that so goddamn much. The armistice has ended. We are now once again at a state of war with the Cylons. The strength and number of the enemy force is unknown, and we have as yet been unable to establish contact with either the 34th Battlestar Group or the Colonial Fleet. We must assume the worst, an all-out assault on our home worlds. The Cylons have been able to track our jump destinations. How this is possible is unknown. The intensity of the attacks has decreased. At present, we are being followed by a single base ship. All wings are to remain on alert status with squadrons taking ships on cap. Orange and green squadrons have been on station for the past 20 minutes. They will be relieved by yellow squadron in 30. Our first priority is survival. Okay. Well... That was actually pretty damn cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was actually seriously damn cool. Um, I gotta, I gotta say now, <laughs> I'm probably not gonna put this game down for a while. I am definitely gonna be following up with another episode, that is for sure. And I must say, I, I seriously, 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 I'm looking forward to seeing how this game plays out. I must say. From what I was told about this, this actually plays out very faithfully to the TV shows, and my god it does. I wouldn't say it's as intense as the TV shows, but it is up there. Being in the pilot of a Viper definitely feels way different than what, it sh than what the TV show depicts, and I am so happy for it. So, but anyways though guys, that was Diaspora, uh, Battlestar Galactica Total Conversion Standalone Mod for Free Space 2. 
Um, if you like this video, be sure to click the like button down below, and let me know if you want me to check out any of the other mods from Free Space 2 Open. Um, as you can tell in the lower left hand corner, this is a source version of the game itself, and obviously there's a way bigger library of mods out there. So do feel free to go ahead and let me know if you guys want to want to check out more and see and see anything more from the game itself because I am looking forward to it. Anyways, though, guys, thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye, bye.